Mr. Mayor, Council, uh, thank you for the opportunity. It's late, and so I'll try to be brief. Um, I'm speaking to you today because I wanted to provide to you the opportunity to address an injustice that actually took place in this very room, right over there. My wife has a beautiful garden. I should apologize. My name is Seth Benezra. I live at 1111 North Orange on the West Bluff. My wife has a beautiful garden. It's a joy to the children in the neighborhood. They wander by and they poke around. It's been inspiration to others, inspiring them to beautify their yards. Uh, she's built a butterfly sanctuary. Apparently, they're endangered bugs. Who knew? And it's, it's, been, it's been actually wonderful. It's a, a gift to our city as we try to live as citizens of Peoria, attempting to beautify our own little corner of the world. And, and everybody loves it, but as we started in on it, we were concerned that code enforcement would give us difficulties. And that's what happened. We had a run-in with the inspector back on August 12th. I won't belabor the details. We disagreed with her assessment. And so we thought, well, we would follow process. Process involves coming to the hearing, and we would see the evidence. We'd have opportunity to argue our case. We disagreed that there was an actual infraction and thought that, well, we would be heard. It's a hearing officer. It's what he's supposed to do, right? That's, that's not what happened. We came here about a week ago. We got in line with everybody else, and we came up to speak to the hearing officer. He showed us two really low resolution, kind of grainy black and white photos and said, this is what we have on you, and if you uh, kind of tap out now, you can just pay 50 bucks and be on your way. But no, we had the audacity to actually want to have our day in court, and so he kind of sighed and rolled his eyes and permitted us to be sworn in, and the inspector said her piece, and then my wife uh, had a written prepared statement. I actually have a copy of it right here. It's you know, a piece of paper. Shouldn't have taken that long. I mean, as it is, I'm getting five minutes. Would have taken not even that long. In which we would have addressed our concerns, including the concern that there was not actually a violation and that the evidence that was presented was insufficient. We had photographic evidence. I believe that you've received all this in your email, both uh, stills and then video of the inspector at work. Got about a third of the way, maybe about halfway through, the hearing officer was I guess he was tolerating it. I mean, it felt like he was maybe putting up with the fact that maybe we wanted to actually be heard. And then he actually cut off my wife in the middle and kind of barked out a couple questions. He pointed to the photographs. Is this grass? Well, yeah, it's grass. Did you mow it? Well, of course we did. We took care of it in two, two hours. And I figure at that point, all right, this is going to be good. Let's go. It'll be fine. No. $100 fine, and we're done. What, what, what was that? Now, if there had been an actual violation, if there was evidence, you know, we had a chance to defend ourselves and we lost, I mean, I'm not going to say we would have cheerfully paid our fine, but, you know, we, we acknowledged due process. It would have worked out. It would have gone on our way. But that's, that's not what happened. I mean, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know if preponderance of the evidence or beyond a reasonable doubt was supposed to apply in this case, but I'm pretty sure that I was supposed to actually be able to have our side heard. We love our city. We live in a, what has traditionally been a difficult area of the city. We've lived there for nine years now. We moved there with our six children because we believed in investing in our city, making a difference. And this garden is one way of doing that. And in fact, our neighbors have received it the Zet. And honestly, they've been appalled at the treatment we've had to endure as a result of this gift. We love our city. We want to do well here. But you make it so hard sometimes. Thank you.